So it looks like the AC line that we were waiting on finally showed up. So this is the first mission of today is to get this AC line up on the car. Also, I forgot my hat at the apartment, so don't mind my ugly ass head. You're gonna have to deal with it today. I think I should probably get a haircut though. So we picked up an AC line off of eBay. I believe this line right here from a OEM oh yeah, Mitsubishi dealer is probably 200 bucks-ish. We picked this guy up on eBay for $38. It looks like the proper one. If it is the proper one, I'll have a link down in the description box below. It's the one that runs from the AC compressor all the way up to the firewall. Before we throw that line on, I wanna to touch on something real quick. I know I have not been consistent with my uploads whatsoever. There is a ton of other stuff going on in mine and Bobby's life right now that we need to take care of that's definitely more important than uploading videos to YouTube. It would be nice to be documenting everything else that's kind of going on, but I feel like it's something that I don't want to really document right now. Maybe when that said thing is more resolved, I'll talk about it. You guys will definitely know eventually why I've been slacking these last few weeks. Hang in there, bear with me. I'll get back on track soon. Just wanted to touch on that real quick. Everything's okay. I'm good. Bobby's good. We just got other stuff going on. Let's get this AC line on the car. Get this AC charged. This will be the first time having AC on the Evo 10 in like a year, a year and a half. It's been a while since we had AC on this car. It looks like it is the proper line minus this one obviously being cut off on the end. This thing should be the right one. I'll tell you right now, the aftermarket line does not fit like the OEM one would. We have this little kink right here that I'm trying to like push out. I don't want to bend the aluminum parts too much because we're just going to end up back to square one with a broken AC line. We'll get that figured out eventually. Just know that if you're going to swap this line out right here, the bottom bolt where it goes onto the compressor, straight pane in the ass to get to. You're definitely going to get a little dirty, a little scratched up doing that. Let's go ahead and throw a vacuum on it real quick. Make sure we don't have any leaks. Get the system charged and get the car all back together. <laughs> So I threw a vacuum on it, vacuumed it out for about 20 minutes, try to get any condensation out of the system that we had in there because the system was open for probably about a week. Actually, no, it was a lot longer than a week. It was majorly open for about a week. It was a little bit open for like a year. So I hope our condenser is still fine. We should be good to go. We all know pretty soon. Got the AC to finally work on the Evo 10. I'm super, super excited for this. This car is usually, I guess you would call it the daily out of all the cars that we own, except for Bobby's STI, of course. This is definitely the most comfortable to drive. We gotta throw a few parts back on this car. I did notice that we do have an oil leak. It's coming from a oil feed line going into the precision turbos. We gotta figure out what to do there. It was fine for a little bit and now it's leaking again. So Aaron over at English and I are going back and forth trying to get the boost back up to where it should be. Coming from English racing down in like Portland, Oregon area back up to Spokane, I think it was like a 2000 foot elevation change. We lost like five PSI of boost. So I think our target is around 33 PSI. We were hitting like 20. 8, 27, 28 PSI when we got back up to Spokane. So I owe him a few more data logs right now, but there's no way I'm gonna drive this car. That oil leak on that feline is way worse than I remember it being. You can literally see a puddle around it and just draining down the side of the turbo. So obviously it's a fire hazard. I don't have any fire extinguishers in any of the cars, which is kind of stupid. So I gotta figure out what to do with that leak. In the meantime, let's go ahead, pull the STI in the shop and see if we can't get this airbag light fixed from the airbag, the passenger airbag clock light thingy. So hypothetically speaking, if we remove this and we remove all this and we reinstall this, obviously connecting all the wires back to the factory wires, that should take care of our airbag light issue. Now I did have the airbag light or the airbag system scanned a few days ago when I was trying to really chase down this issue and through five different codes. I don't know if just this issue right here is going to throw five different codes. I know this does need to be plugged in for the airbag light to not be on on the dash. So this may take care of a few of the codes, but we may have some left over.
crazy. I did not think that plugging in that one thing would take care of five different codes for the airbag system. So this car is pretty much like complete. Like there's not much left to fix on this thing. Do you still intermittently have that blinking DCCD? which that could be just like a dirty wheel speed sensor slash ABS sensor. So we need to go around and clean all those because it doesn't happen all the time. It only happens sometimes. Thanks. You want to go on a road trip? Mm-hmm. Okay. Would you like to know something crazy? Yes. I came very close to death this morning. Why, babe? I almost hit a deer on my bike doing 70. Honey, don't be doing 70. I had to. It was a speed limit. Baby. It was really close, though. It kind of scared the shit out of me. Because I was, like, off in my own world, you know, how I do when I ride. Mm -hmm. I was, like, looking off into the woods and stuff, like, thinking about a new shop. And then all of a sudden, this deer's like, Brap! and I swerved, and it went, like, right behind me. I'm not kidding. You need to be more careful. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? And I do a 20 ounce pink lotus with sugar-free strawberry and coconut. Yeah, of course. And can I do that extra sweet? Of course. Thank yeah. you. So, Okay, honey. Look, look. That's, ah, that's, ah. It's one little sip. It'll be all right. It's a freaking, it's a pet peeve. I'll pet your peeve. You have a good nap? Mm-hmm. Do you have any dreams? So we just made it to Moses Lake. We're like halfway to Seattle right now. Bobby slept the whole way. <laughs> and we need to fill up on some fuel. Thirsty girl. All right, so I didn't ever mention this, but we came out to Seattle to check out a car. I was super, super stoked about it. After looking over it, it needs a ton of work. So I'm trying to like decide if I want to buy a car that's been previously wrecked and try to like fix all their little mistakes. It needs like a full front respray. The hood was ghettoly fixed. It could be core support damage that I can't see. It could be frame damage that I can't see or if I should just pass on the car. So that's kind of where we're at right now. It's a nice car. It's a clean title, it's a reasonable price, but it's just like, I don't know if I want to buy an insanely bad project car. Ugh. I'm stressed. I just want to buy someone else's junk. That's where I'm at. I'm actually trying to find a shop here in Seattle right now that would be able to get the car up on the lift, check out the underside of the car, See if there's anything else that I can't see going on underneath. Cause I would be fine like respraying some panels and whatnot, but I'm not fine with redoing someone else's trash work. If that makes sense. Yeah, that's where we're at. And we got Chick-fil-A. All right, so it's been a few days since I picked up the camera. Long story short, we didn't end up buying that car. We are back home now, back in Spokane, and my Evo 8 alternator just died. We were cruising on the highway started cutting out a little bit radio shut off lights for the battery and i believe it was the brake or the abs came on and then the car just completely shut off so we coasted to this gas station here and my dad is going to bring me a new battery and that should be enough to get the car back from where we are to the shop you didn't mention that it's 90 degrees outside very very warm outside we're supposed to be at the lake right now so bobby i'm sorry but you want to know the bigger the the positive to pull out of the situation you want to know it what? we just put how many miles on this car? Like a thousand miles on the car? Yeah? This could have happened on the way back from Portland and we would have been screwed. No dad to come save the day. Big shout outs to Pops for bringing us the battery. Here you go. You like that? Thanks, so. 
in case you want to be healthy. I get two goodies? Yes. Do we still get to go out to the lake at all? Yes. When? But that'll be your 10 minutes. I already see the comments. I know some people are going to say, Devin, you have nonstop issues with the Evo 8 because we did just have that radiator issue and we've had a few other little issues along the way. I'm not going to lie, but that issue right here is completely my fault. The battery died the other day and I just jumped the car and then I used the alternator to like try to recharge the battery and then the same day when I went to go drive the car, the alternator died. So my, completely my bad. I'm going to pull the car to the shop. I'm going to order up an Evo 8 alternator rebuild kit instead of putting another used one in there and we can work on the STI a little bit as well. Something came in for the STI that everybody wants to see. So the part, the very, very last part that we've been waiting for for the STI finally showed up. Well, we originally ordered a grill for the car the day we bought the car. Remember that? That grill never showed up. It still hasn't showed up. So I ended up ordering another grill, same exact grill, carbon fiber grill for the for the Hawkeye. And we are gonna go ahead, and open it up, get it on the car today, and that should be the very last thing we need to get this STI done. The moment we've all been waiting for. Ooh. Not bad. That's beautiful. That I should look pretty good on there. Let me show you the grill that's currently on the car. It's a factory STI grill, but it's broken and missing the badge. As you can see right here, it's missing the badge and the whole bottom section. No. <laughs> Does that always happen? No. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's take off. Let's pop the hood at least. What? This thing fits like poop. <laughs> this thing fits like crap. Put the middle piece on. Look at, look at the gap right here. It's supposed to come all the way out to here and be flush with the headlight. Looks like you made it with your butt. So it looks like we can get the center one, the center piece right here to fit just fine, but the side ones are not fitting good whatsoever there's a massive gap right around this whole thing mainly right here i just spent like 15 minutes trying to get this grill to fit somewhat okay we can get the center section to fit about 90 percent the driver's side is about like 50 percent passenger side's like 10 percent there's gonna be a big gap on the passenger side but i feel like it's gonna be a lot better than the grill we have on here so let's just go ahead screw it onto the bumper get it fully mounted get it fully secured and see how it looks if it bugs us i'm just gonna go ahead buy a brand new oem grill get it installed on the car and be done with it. It could definitely fit a lot nicer, but I do like how it looks. The carbon fiber looks nice. The mesh they have in there looks really nice. It just does not fit good whatsoever. I'm still gonna go ahead and link this grill down below. So if you guys wanna pick one of these up, try to get it to fit better on your own car. It'll be down in the description box below. She ran about 120 bucks online. I know things have been a little bit hectic on the channel. I haven't been posting nearly as much as you guys are used to seeing. I'm literally posting like maybe once a week right now. And I used to post like six to seven times a week. To be completely honest, I haven't really been doing anything with any sort of cars right now. I could still upload content, but it's not really gonna be car related. And I don't wanna bore you guys with that kind of stuff. So that's why I thought it'd be a little bit better to slow down on the uploads and focus on the other stuff that we have going on right now. I know this video is all over the place. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next episode.